It was uncovered on Sunday. Uh, apparently, the man in question, the 24-year-old IT student, had called needing an ambulance. Uh, it appears that he may have shot himself. The police believe that he was responsible for killing this 32-year-old woman. Uh, they're not sure why that's being investigated at the moment. But when they uh, found this young man and the vehicle he, he had with him, they discovered a lot of weapons. They say war weapons, handguns, ammunition flak jackets, communications equipment, computer equipment uh, in it. And they say that within that vehicle, it was very clear that he intended to attack one, maybe two churches on Sunday. That's what we're learning at the moment. And it appears uh, that he had plans to go to Syria. The interior minister in France has said this was a man who was known to the police there. This is what he said. On Sunday morning, the attack was foiled. The individual had been signaled to the police as having a desire to leave for Syria. Checks had been made twice, in 2014 and 2015, on this 24-year-old IT student's environment without showing any element that could justify the opening of a judicial investigation. Now, the Prime Minister, however, has also said that uh, because France is facing an unprecedented terror threat like other countries, that their security services were on a heightened state of alert, particularly following the uh, Charlie Hebdo attacks in January. And because they were on a heightened level of alert, this allowed them to respond to and deal with this situation much more quickly, led to the preventing of a terror attack. So between what, the, uh, what we've heard from the Interior Minister said saying that he was known to the police even, even this year, um, but didn't recognize that he was about to perpetrate an attack. And the prime minister saying it's because of a heightened state of security they were able to stop the attack. Um, mm. This is what, uh, you know, this is where things stand at the moment.